Yo, welcome back, crypto fam. It's your boy, Tales from the Crypto, and this is Crypto Tales. I would never fail to leave you bullish as hell. Stuffing bags to the fullest, don't sell. Don't sell this is Crypto Tales. Right now, we're looking at a correction. There's only a few coins still up. Data Fuel up 10, BTT up 7%, UMA 14. Everything else pretty much down. For all of you that are new to crypto, right now is the time for you to be buying, accumulating those bags. For all you crypto OGs out there holding strong, stay diamond handed. Despite all the trolling in the FUD, Elon Musk, other countries still banned in crypto, but everything in the news is still bullish. NYDIG leads 25 million investment around in Bitcoin service platform Unchained Capital. So it was all that FUD about Bitcoin not being efficient enough but big money is still spending 25 million investment around on a bitcoin service platform so obviously it's not that big of a deal by the way the news has been they, they're trying to make it seem like crypto is over but spacex launches flight to iss with ethereum node why would they send a node to space unless they were trying to create a global network i'm telling you all this is the beginning don't let these red markets fool you they out here making big moves behind the scenes and this is a proof to that solana is rising up to 450 million to challenge ethereum they always calling it the ethereum killer but pretty much every low cost smart contract capable platform is the ethereum killer because their fees are trash solana planned to close around in march but expanded it in response to strong interest the upstart blockchain has a focus on dApps as a potential rival to ethereum the upstart blockchain solana which some have dubbed a potential Ethereum killer, has raised a large amount of money to scale up its ambition, which include becoming a go-to home for a decentralized application. According to multiple sources, some of whom spoke on the conditions of anonymity, Solana is raising between 300 million and 450 million. Decrypt was unable to obtain a precise figure, but learned that the company had intended to close a smaller round in March, but then expanded the scope of fundraising in response to high demand. I'm excited and impressed to see the recent growth of Solana's business. They've had industry leading tech for a while and it's gratifying to see reality catching up, said Sam Bankman Fry, a prominent crypto entrepreneur whose firm FTX launched a decentralized version of his exchange on Solana last year. Jack Dorsey outlined Square's tentative plans for Bitcoin hardware wallet. But like I said earlier, there was all this FUD about Bitcoin and all this and how it's not eco friendly and how they're cracking down on it, but yet. Square outlines a tentative plan of Bitcoin hardware wallet. And I think what it is, is these banks want to hold your bag for you. They don't want you to have your own keys. They don't want you to have your own private solution. So that's why they're starting to build custody. They're starting to create ways to get your crypto in their pockets so they can follow all of the money. Um, and I feel like eventually uh, when regulations come out, they may have um, some not so good news regarding uh, people's private keys. But we'll see where that goes. I don't I don't see I don't see how that will work, but you never know. So expect the unexpected. Recently the SEC replied to Ripple's oppositions and brief filed in mid-May. Also, the SEC came out with a letter motion regarding Ripple's non-public correspondence. Ripple has dismissed all accusations leveled by the SEC so far. The watchdog accused the company and its key officers, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, of illegally offering securities to US citizens. According to the SEC, Ripple utilized XRP tokens as unregistered securities. The net amount of illegal sales may surpass $1.3 billion. The SEC initiated this case in December 2020. This case dragged on for half a year, and Ripple has already made significant advances. The judge partially granted Ripple's motion to compel the discovery of documents related to XRP, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. Meanwhile, she denied Ripple's motion to prevent the SEC from requesting documents on the case from foreign securities regulators. Ripple Inc. is well known for its unmatched lobbying activity. In the last few months, it hired a number of top tier executives from Uber, Goldman Sachs, and Amazon. This can hardly be interpreted as something required for business development or blockchain progress. It looks like Ripple is interested in well-connected market veterans to strengthen its positions in this case. The example of Tether showed the entire crypto segment that nothing is impossible, however serious the charges. The company is still supported by the most passionate and aggressive community in crypto, the XRP Army. Also, its leaders pitched XRP as a technical framework for CBDCs in March. In a nutshell, Ripple definitely does not look like a victim in this battle. Shout out to my boy ECK with that news right there. 
So they got people like Elon Musk manipulating markets. Both sides are conflicting. One side saying it's bad, the other side is buying it all up. So who do you believe? Believe in your intuition. Prepare yourself today for tomorrow. You'll be kicked back on the island, surfing on a jet ski. <laughs> But this is a quick video. I just had to get some content out there. I've been real busy lately, but I appreciate all of y'all. I appreciate all my new subscribers. Hit the like and subscribe. Let your friends and your fam know that Tells from the Crypto's here, and I'm doing videos for y'all. And I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. And you gonna get rich. Buy dips, accumulate in, add a fuel to the spaceship and to the crypto nation. It's all about the patience.